Hey guys, happy Sunday. So we had beautiful weather here today. It was like in the 40s. It has been the last couple days, which is always weird when it goes from like negative 28 to 40 the next day, but I will take it. I am ready for warmer weather. I don't know about you. So I will um, say this probably repeatedly. Hopefully I remember to say it repeatedly tonight, but I'm gonna do things a little bit differently tonight. Um, just because now that I've started doing the lunch break sale and I've gotten into a good routine and a good pattern of doing that, um, I am going to change up the shipping and I'm just going to do shipping uh, for the Facebook sales once a week. So this week, um, the lunch break sale will be Tuesday at noon. So what will happen is then Tuesday at noon after the sale, I will take everything that's that somebody has purchased, um, put it in one box, one package, and then I will ship that item. And for whatever reason, I feel like my phone keeps sagging. Um, so that way we can have combined shipping. For those of you who purchase every time that I do a, a Facebook sale, it, it a lot of times is cheaper to have like three things in a package. You pay for the, you pay the same shipping as you would for one thing, you know what I mean? So um, we are going to try it that way. So when we get done tonight, what I will do is what I always do is invoice you for the item, and then I won't invoice you for shipping and your item will not get shipped until Tuesday afternoon. So Tuesday after I do the lunch break sale, then if you buy something on Tuesday, I'll put everything together. If you don't buy something on Tuesday, I'll just look at what you had on Sunday, and I feel like the phone's still slipping. Um, and I will do what you just had purchased on Sunday and mail that, okay? So on Tuesday, you will get another invoice for shipping. Um, and so we'll just try it that way um, and kind of see how it goes. You guys can let me know if you like that idea, don't like that idea, um, whatever. So I'm open, for, I'm open for feedback, but that's something that I'm gonna try. So I had the phone angle down a little bit lower than normal and you can tell my phone's switched again this week, so that's awesome. But I wanted to show you these keys. And so, let's see if I go back this way. I've got 10 keys here. And if I have more than one person who is interested in these keys, um, I have a ton of keys. And so, I would just bundle you together. Um, 10 keys, $5, and... Um, you know, you could get, in, so more than one person could get uh, an assortment. So we've got 10 keys here, $5. And when I get done with my sales, I always, um, it takes a little bit because I gotta get organized, but I do go and put everything into stories. Um, and I have a video on how to find your stories because a lot of people um, always ask, how do you find your stories? And I'm gonna be putting together a blog post so that you can reference the blog post this week and it will have everybody's or every like tip that I, I can think of that I've tried to explain to you how to use like finding events and getting notifications and all of that kind of stuff um, all in one spot and that way you can reference it versus flipping through all of my videos. So we've got a set of four double hinges here and these are, um, they're all working, like you can move all of them, but this one, can you tell, it's a little bit bent here. When it got taken off of the door, it got bent a little bit, but it will definitely, um, you know, go at the 90 degree angle so you can magnet something to it. That's kind of what I talked about last week um, for the hinges. So it just will not straighten all the way. So depending on how you're going to use it, that may or may not work for you, um, but you can um, turn all of these so that you could use them to magnet a recipe, a picture, different things like that. So for the four hinges, it is $30. So $30 on the four hinges, and this one doesn't straighten all the way, okay? 
And then I have another ice pick. Again, these are great for hanging things. You can do your dish towel, toilet paper. Um, you could hang a picture from it. And just simply, if you had a collection of these hanging on your wall, that's a piece of art right there. So $10 on our rusty um, hay hook. Hey guys, thanks everybody for watching. All right, Robin wants the keys. And then we have a little piece of architectural salvage here. Again, I think these would be great in a gallery wall or if you have some open shelving or someplace where you could see it. Um, and this one is only $5. I don't have the tape measure, so you kind of get an idea of size, hopefully just from the proportions to my body. So. Yeah, Amber, that's another good idea. Um, hanging, using the uh, hay hook to hang a wreath from it. And this is another piece of architectural salvage. Um, all you'd have to do is put a sawtooth um, hanger on this. You could use the command strips if you wanted, or you could just set it on a shelf. You could mount it like I had those mantle shelf boards last week. You could put it under one of those boards just to kind of make a decorative detail on it. And this one is $20. So if you want one of the architectural salvage pieces, make sure you say that you want the $5 one or the $20 one. Okay, then we have a couple more spoons. Um, I put these together because they're both a very long handled and they're both darker. The shorter one does have some nicks and chips and stuff to it, but both of these have a lot of great character to them. And on the screen, it really looks reddish, but in person, it just looks, looks wood to me, not reddish. So I'm not sure about that. Um, but they are very long handled. This one does have a hole in the bottom of it. Um, and you're getting the pair for $10. So pair of wooden spoons, $10. Okay, next up we have a couple of um, Domes pills and they're for relief of backache. And these are just great for those of you who collect little medicine bottles, put it in your bathroom or in your mudroom, wherever you have kind of a, a health or bottle collection going on. And we've got a $10 one and an $8 one. So $10 and $8 on the Dones pills. I like them also just because the color is great. And it is embossed Dones, um, both of them, if I can get the lighting to adjust. Maybe. It's not going to do it on that one. Okay, well, the other lid looks just like this one, so I don't know why it's not showing it. Um, so 10 and 8 on the Dones pills, but I love the green color. Green is... Always, always popular. Next up, we have this um, bundle of three nests, and I've got two bundles, and I probably have at least a couple of more, couple more bundles of nests at the shop. All of them are a little bit different. They are um, new, so these are not ones that I made, even though I have um, made some nests on like a DIY project. Um, and you're getting the bundle. So you're getting three of them. They're all three different styles. You can see that in the on the screen for $9. So a nest bundle is $9. But those are great. I know a lot of you have been wanting to decorate things for spring, looking for spring flashcards. I don't have any spring flashcards. I'm always on the lookout for something like that. I just don't have any. Next up, we have this little drawer. It's got white chippy paint on it, um, just wood everywhere else, and it is stained, or stained, it is sealed, so it's ready to go. You could hang it on the wall like this or like this um, so that you could see it when you are walking by and use it as a shelf, put things on both spots. Um, I have little skinny like sewing machine drawers on each side of my sink, my husband's sink, and we put all of our bottles in it, toothpaste and contact solution and um, lotion and all those kinds of things, and that just kind of keeps up, keeps it everything together. So you could do something like that or roll your towels up in it. Um, I mean, drawers are so versatile, so it's great, and it's got that great chippy paint. So $20 on this little drawer. 
Okay, my biggest thing tonight is this um, crate, chest, wooden box, and it does not have, I can barely get it in the screen, I'm trying to, um, it does not have a lid to it, but you can tell because of the lock, it would have at some point. And I would say the coloring on the screen is pretty true. It's wood, but it has like a burgundy reddish tint to it. But the keyhole is awesome. So hopefully you can see that. It's just got great detail on it. And it's really pretty large, um, larger than one I would think of being on a dresser. So here's the inside of it. The inside hasn't been sealed. The outside doesn't even really need sealed or anything. You could add some little feet to it. You could put felt pads on it so it can slide around on something and you don't have to worry about it. You could stand it up and use it as a side table to your couch. Um, again, hang it on the wall. Lots of options here. So the big um, crate, we're gonna call it, is $30. Okay, I've shared these letters before. This time I grabbed a B. Um, I only have a few letters. This is another thing that's new. It's not an antique, um, but having letters um, hanging on your gallery wall are popular. It is um, a Peacock Park letter. And it is $22.50 and it does have tabs that you can hang, hang with it as well. So $22.50 on the letter D. Okay, then we've got this floral print that would be great for spring. It's just in a cream, um, off-white colored um, frame. The back of it has like Eugenia Legrand from somebody's name. It's a very faint written in pencil on that little tag right there. So $15 on the floral print. And I have not been paying attention here. We've got, let's see, can't, how much on the trim? It was $5 and $20 on the trim, Melinda. And Katie wants the trim pending price. So $5 or $20 and one of the nest bundled. Thanks Lori for helping with prices. Chas wants a nest. Carolyn wants to nest. No, I'll sell the 10 separately, Shelly. So just tell me if you want the $10 or the $8. And Katie wants the floral print. Okay, this is a radiator watering can, radiator can. Um, the shape and patina on it is amazing. It probably has this patina because I'm guessing it has been some in a fire. Um, but I love it. It's farm fresh. It's still got dirt in it. Um, I haven't sealed it, but I do think that if you sealed it, it would just bring out the patina even more on it. And it's such, the radiator cans just have such a great um, shape. I just love this part of it. Um, show you the bottom here. So on the radiator watering can, it is $48. So $48 on the can. Okay, then I have a ton of piano keys. Um, there was a couple of pianos that you couldn't tune anymore. And so dad and I tore them apart. Now these do not go together. Um, I just have a bunch of piano keys in a bucket, kind of like something else to put inside something besides flowers or wooden spoons or rolling pins um, are these piano keys. But you can also put them together. Like I sold a grouping and a lady um, her son was going to graduate from like a uh, music school, college, music degree. And so she was going to have everybody at his graduation party sign the keys. Um, so that's a fun way to do it. So these don't all go together, but you could put them together like I have here. I just did that really quickly. Or you could just throw them in a crock or something to display that way. Or repurpose it in another way. So you're getting 10 piano keys for $5. 
correction on that. I'm reading the wrong keys. The piano keys are $10. They're a dollar each. So if you want any more um, piano keys than that, then you would just need to let me know because I do have more. Then we have, it's either um, a pin cushion. I thought this would be good for Valentine's Day. Um, or it's one of those that uh, smells up your drawers. And this heart is $10. So $10 on the heart. $20 was the scallop trim, Melinda. Okay, Katie wants the $5 trim. Shelly wants the $10 tin. Myra wants the bucket. Ronnell wants the piano keys. Hi, Wayne. Thanks for watching, buddy. Um, you want all of them. Yep. And then, so if anybody else wants some piano keys, just put it here or message me afterwards. I can put a bundle together for 10, five, whatever, however many you want. I would say I probably have at least 30 still. So this is another one of those sprayers. Um, the reason that I love this one, this would be actually good for Christmas gonna make a lot of noise just because of the red and green but my absolute favorite is just because it has the red glass on it um, it is rusty so I don't know if you're going to be able to actually put liquid in there or not I don't think I've ever tried to open it it does say made in the USA on the bottom and has some other things written as well or embossed on there but you can just set these on the shelf um, just like this and have that pop of color um, added to your display. So $20 on the sprayer. Okay, then I grabbed another horse bit. Um, again, hang this on the wall. This one still has the clip from probably the leather strap. Um, lots of options on this one as well because you can hang things from it um, or just put it on your gallery wall. $15 on the horse bit. And I don't remember this one having a name on it. Some of them do. And Wayne's always big on knowing the names of the makers. And Brooke is not. Okay, so if you saw um, in stories last week, I think, I shared how I scored so many Bibles. Um, uh, somebody who collected Bibles was ready to give up her collection. And so I'm going to be listing them um, on the website as well, but I'm putting them into bundles. So this bundle I did um, a stack black, red, and black. They are tiered in size. And I put these together because this one has red pages. This one, it's kind of red and reddish gold pages. Um, so you could stack them like this, or you could stack them so that you could read the, the Bible. We've got New Testament, um, Cambridge, and I mean, just it's in good condition. There, there aren't any damages. And then this is signed 1925. So that's one of them. And then this one is the New Testament. Isn't it so exciting that my camera screen is flipped correctly? I mean, it's just super exciting that it's actually working for once. And in case you missed it last week, I was also talking about how so many people are losing their ability to go live on Facebook. So if I'm telling you I'm going live on Tuesday, um, and my feet, my ability to go live is uh, removed, then just please know that I will put a post or something in here saying that, hey, my live option is uh, has been taken away. So fingers crossed that that doesn't actually happen. So this one's kind of unique. It Or maybe those are just broken pages. It's broken pages. I thought it had like certain little tabs or something. So on our three Bibles, it's $45 for our Bible bundle. All right. We had some fast people on the Bibles. Um, okay, Jennifer wants a horse bit. Jerry, your second. I have more horse bits, Jerry, so I'll send you some pictures. Leslie is first showing up here on the Bible. Um, 
Katie, you would be second. And like I said, I do have more Bible stacks. So Katie, I can show you the other ones that I have um, as well. Look at this big thing. It is awesome. And I put it out before. It's a Pullman, um, a picture of it, because I want to know what you think um, this would have been, What? where would this have been used? Because it's ginormous. This was what was stamped last. So I have no idea what that would have been. 40 extra small M, I don't know. Um, but it is awesome. Now, all of the spinning things, um, that's just spinning on its own. So I'm not sure if it will actually rotate very easily. I mean, I think it will a little bit. You can see that. Um, but I honestly didn't try every, every little thing because these things weren't just spinning on their own. So it might just be more of this is how it is and you're not going to be rotating it. So $45 on this big Pullman stamp. Was it Pullman? Yeah, big Pullman stamp. Okay, next up we have some doorknobs. We've got four of them. They are $8 for the four, and they are just the knob part. Um, so they don't have, what would you call it? The rod that goes through it. You can add like wire to these and curl the wire, and then they will stand up um, like that and you can hold a picture or whatever from it. So metal doorknobs, four of them, $8. Then I've got some quilt blocks. I picked these because these would be awesome to repurpose somehow for um, the spring. And these are just all the same. So we've got five of them, I think. And they are all hand stitched. So $10 on the quilt, the five quilt pieces. And then we've got another quilt block. This one is a larger one. Of a little girl. Again, perfect spring colors. And again, all hand done. And this single block of the girl is $5. So $5 on this one. And then I have a couple of these that have the color that we all love. Um, kind of like a greenish, turquoise-ish color. I have no idea what they really were. Um, and I don't think that they ever had a lid just because the tops are kind of scalloped. And I am selling them separately, so you can just tell me if you want one or two, but they're $15 each, and we'll just call them green handled. Okay, then we got a Farm Fresh um, oil can here. These are great again. You can use a clothespin or um, a metal clip and clip a picture onto it, some kind of postcard, anything like that, or you can stick something in the hole here and um, like a wire that you curve and then you can show something that way. You can also use a magnet. So $5 on the oil can. Okay, then we have a couple of um, champagne glasses, I guess. They are metal. They are pretty heavy. Um, you could use these I've used them in displays and just put like um, some lace pieces coming out of them or doilies coming out of them. You could plant some flowers in them or have a candle and some pheasant feathers coming out of them. Um, could do something with Easter with some eggs or even setting those nests on there. Um, you could do something like that as well and then do some, put it in the center of a, of a wreath like the one hanging on the wall or whatever. So lots of options, lots of ways to use that in a display. And you could also um, mount a plate or something to it um, just to make it more of a pedestal because it does have some good weight to it. They do have stickers on the bottom that say made in China. 
and you're getting the two for $30. So two for 30. Okay, then we have um, a postal cabinet door and it does have a combination. Here's the combination and somebody has made this oak um, piggy bank using the post office cabinet door and otherwise it's just solid oak all the way around and it is $75 so $75 on the post office door piggy bank all right we've got Jennifer wants the stamp Leslie wants the quilt pieces Lisa you're second on the quilt pieces Sarah wants the green pieces, Julie your second, Jerry your third, Leslie's getting the oil can, and Marilyn second on the oil can. So next up we have um, this candlestick holder. Again, this has good um, weight to it as well. It's just a, a brass gold um, candlestick holder. Again, for Easter, you can put eggs um, in this and they will just set there. And another idea for your doorknobs is you can put them like in, this nest is too small, but you can put them in something and have these be like pretend eggs, especially if you have those white ones, um, the porcelain ones. But you can take a nest and put an egg in it or have a little, um, you know, bunny or something coming up out of it. So you have lots of options and this helps you with your height. So don't forget to think outside of the box when you when you see some of the things that when you're out shopping so $35 on the candlestick holder okay this is not stamped I have seen them stamped McCoy before but this one does not have a stamp on it um, it is the awesome turquoise color again and this is a great size to like where I have the wooden bowls. You can put um, this on a scale. It's a great proportion. Um, so on the turquoise bowl, it is $20. So 20 on the turquoise bowl. And then we have, I'm gonna call it a green bowl. It's a little more shallow than that turquoise one. Just kind of see in proportion, but probably similar in diameter. And it does have the ribbed um, edges and this one is also not stamped and this one is $15 so a uh, green bowl is 15 and the turquoise one is 20 all right Katie wants the turquoise bowl and I, yep, you want the bowl. I get yeah, pass on the bowl, or you just were saying because it probably auto corrected vase for bowl. Um, okay, I only could find three yellow croquet balls, but the red went over really well. So we've got $15 on the three yellow ones. Um, and kind of like what we've been talking about, these kind of like an egg or a nest, you can set them like on all your candlestick holders, glasses. Um, put them in a bowl and definitely the springy feeling is why I picked yellow so you could do something like this so $15 on the yellow croquet balls okay then we've got some more white dishes or they're not gonna come into focus here um, and I what shouldn't say dishes um, jars these probably were some kind of cosmetic jar some of them still have some like discoloration on them. This one is pretty much plain on the bottom. Just has a ring. This one is like Lutzer's ink liquid of Kansas City, Missouri. So this one says Kansas City, Missouri on it. Embossed there on the bottom. And then this one does have a little chip right here. And it says D-E-L-V. Let's see if we can get the lighting to actually work. D-E-L-V. So you're getting the um, three of these, which they're all a little bit different size. I pick, picked them like that because they will look good sitting together. 
um, $11 on the three cosmetic jars. And then you guys have been really liking um, the books. So I didn't make a bundle this time. We'll just sell them separate. We've got Dorothy Dale Strange Discovery. So it's a nice cream neutral cover on it. And it is $5. We've got Number Stories, book number one. And it is $5. And we've got Back of Beyond. And it is $5. So let me know which book you are interested in. Okay, pass on the bowl. So Katie does not want the turquoise bowl. Hi, Daryl. Okay, Katie does want the croquet balls. Okay, then we've got this ironstone um, casserole. It is Warranted Co. K, T, and K granite is the stamp at the bottom. This one has some nice crackling. Hopefully you can kind of see that through the camera and just has some great detail, details on the handle and just the shape of it. Um, I don't think that there's any uh, cracks or chips on it. And the casserole is $45. And then we have this platter and it does have a chip, it's right here. You can't really see it. It's right here from the front as much. Well, I guess you can on the camera. Um, but the rest of it is in good shape. It is a little bit, um, has a little bit of discoloration on it. It is stamped Alfred Meek in England and it has a unicorn for the stamp. And it is $30. Okay, Kathy wants the cream book and the green bear book. Lori second on the croquet balls and Kathy wants the third book. Sarah wants the platter. All right, so Kathy wants all three. Okay, then I got another pig cutting board. This one is 20. Again, you can hang it on your wall. You could use those command strips if you wanted to. Set it on a shelf, um, put it as the back and then put stuff in front of it. Um, set it on the back of your counter, lay it down and stack stuff on it, use it. $20 on the pig cutting board. Okay, then we have two of these Thomas Register um, of American Manufacturers. There is volume four and I have volume three. And these things are huge. Um, they're awesome. They're in great condition. They've got good coloring if you want to just use them to stack things and um, do a display. And I'll try and show you here some of the insides. They're $30 each. So it's got old parts, it's just like a catalog. So if you're into tools and old HVAC and plumbing and who knows what all, then you might enjoy having these. So the Thomas Registers, you've got volume four or volume three, and they are $30 each. Okay, last thing tonight is this letter A sign. It is a metal sign. And just a reminder for those of you who hopped on late, I'm going to not um, calculate shipping until Tuesday after my lunch break sale at noon. So Tuesday at noon, I'll do a sale like this. And then after that, I will do shipping for whatever sold today and shipping for whatever sold Tuesday. That way we can bundle all your stuff together and put it in one box. Um, and if you ever get something from me that I put in a bag and you're like, why did she put this in a bag? 
It is a lot cheaper to ship it in a bag than it is a box for some reason. Now, not always, but a lot of times. So if sometimes I put something in a bag and you think that's weird, I'm just trying to save you money. So this is a metal um, sign. I don't know if it was maybe for a parking lot. I was trying to think what A would be. Um, so maybe you're in the A lot, but I thought this would be awesome if somebody's last name started with it or their first name started with it. And the crackling on it is awesome. So $35 on the letter A sign. All right, so that's all I've got for today. I'll do this again on Tuesday at lunch, like I just mentioned. Um, Nicole wants the cutting board. Anna wants the ironstone piece, the casserole. And the Thomas books are, let's look, because I don't remember. It's the 59th edition. And it's not gonna be prominent, so I'll look and shoot you a message and tell you if I can find a date. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good night.